not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Done your, I've done your show. Come on, I always have a great time. I, I, I love when you guys come on. Yeah. Seriously. I love when they let me back in the building. Yeah. 21 months. Is it, it, I, when are you going back, you think? We were hoping January. Yeah. Yes. To the house that's dirt built. But yeah. I mean, yesterday marked, I was telling Harry before, yesterday was 21 months. Wow. Since the last time I broadcast in my own studio. <sighs> wow. That's yeah. crazy. And you and you just, I mean, you. how long have you done the show? Oh, for? God. About six or seven years. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just moved to nights right before the pandemic hit. Yeah, I remember that. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Mm. Uh -huh. They came to us and they said, hey, we want to have some West Coast action uh, for the election year. Mm -hmm. So would you go on one of the political channels right. uh, at night? And they, they made me a great offer. Our first guest was Pete Townsend. We were all set. We had a lot of comics coming in after the clubs. Tons of drunk comics showing up for the 11 to 12 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figuring out what it was. Yeah. And then three months in, this thing happens. Got it. The day of uh, March 12th was uh, my, my child turned eight, mm. and it was my last day in the studio. And uh, the last time I saw my nanny, I mean, mm. everything shut down, as right. you gentlemen know, on the 13th. Yeah, yeah. And so since then, I've just been doing it from my uh, my apartment, which is not as tricked out as your home studio, right. Dante. Well, we, this is a lot of years. Really We've been doing nice. this nine years. We've been in here great. nine years and built it, rebuilt it, and so on and so forth, trying to save lives. Um, so, Fantastic. Mine has, like, cats walking across keyboards. Well, the this cat like will come in here and walk along, have little, little footprints on, but uh, I, you know what? I, I wanted to ask you this, and, I, and we haven't, uh, this is the first time I've seen you in a long time. I I, I haven't I, seen anybody. I forgot yeah. how belts work, guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even know, like, I, I, going out in public is weird. I, I, I'm, I'm vaxxed, but... I was apprehensive at first, and mm. one of the things that you I and Jim Brewer, I'm both, both vaccinated. Uh, oh, both yeah. anti -vaccinated. Did, did, yeah, did but, you see this? I remember you, you, you weren't hesitant for the gigs. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the um, I, and here's what my 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 thought. And I wanted you to I wanted you to get your opinion on this. As a as a black man, I always Harry John as a black his, man. As, Harry usually your... starts his sentences yeah. like that. As a black man, and the distrust for for government. Yeah. Uh, initially, I was like, I, I don't. Then, and they were like, we need to get African Americans done right up front. And I was like, I, we seen, seen this, this last before. time when we were on yeah. a boat ride. <laughs> no, I was going to go back as far as Tuskegee experiment, but yeah, you're really yeah. going there. I yeah. Would, yeah, yeah. And but so. I don't begrudge any African Americans who distrust the government saying, right. put this in your body. Don't get me wrong. But you got to see the flip side of it, which right. was you, you actually, we had this lockdown happen. And then around April of 2020, uh, our good friend, former host of Celebrity Apprentice, Donald Trump, right. fired for being racist, by the way. Right. Uh, <laughs> as soon as they found out that this was affecting African-Americans disproportionately, right? Because African-Americans are the frontline workers. Right. We see once again, the people who are most marginalized are also the people who keep the entire society going. Sure. Not billionaires. Billionaires right. could all get sick and die in the society. Functions. Nobody would miss them. If black folks all get sick and die, the economy stops. Right. And as soon as they realized, and again, it's it's, Black and brown folks on the front lines, for the most part. A lot, yeah, yeah. lot of Caucasians, too. Yeah. As soon as the Trump administration got the data that it was affecting people of color so high, April of 2020, that's when they began saying, reopen America. Okay. Reopen America. And you got Donald Trump saying, fill the pews in the churches on Easter Sunday, 2020. Right. That same week, he's on tape with Bob Woodward saying he knows it's airborne. He knows it's deadly. There's nothing like this. Yeah. Like Bob Woodward from Watergate. Yeah, he got Trump to deep throat himself. Right, and hmm. and I always thought the point of Easter was bringing people back from the dead, not sending yeah, yeah. them to it. So I don't, I don't begrudge any African Americans who distrust what the government tells us about you, medicine. You know, I did not, I did not, I didn't put that together. But if if they were rushing to open up, I should, I would have been like, yeah, I'll go get the vac. Right, I'm, I'm but there was no vax then. They yeah. wanted to open up. Yeah, you know, eight months before. You know what? What what changed? What, what where I changed my mind? Tell me. Denmark, Switzerland, they care about their people, they and they were going... That's what changed my mind, too. Yeah, they Internationally, I, was, I go, people are it, happier. Too. Yeah, they're it, doing it internationally. I I'm said, cool with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't believe it. it in a whole global conspiracy. We can't even no. decide how we want our four schemes to say yeah. like, This is the whole thing. Everyone's yeah. saying the gut... Like, to me, it's, it's like when people say, oh, Bush was behind 9-11. I'm like, right. if Bush was behind 9-11... 
the planes would have missed. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right, we got right, fascists, right, right. but they're not very smart. They right, can't do right. a global conspiracy. He did duck, duck those sandals, though. He, he, he was pretty yeah, he quick with that. He, he, ducked got, that. he can duck. He just can't. <laughs> he, yeah, can't. Like yeah, he ducked the draft board when it sent five poor guys in his place. Yeah. So, like, you know, I, I don't begrudge it, but what I say all the time, because I, I have callers all the time, and I have <laughs> conservative brothers and sisters and people yeah. who believe this stuff. And there's two different divides. There's, there's black folks who might not trust the government. Right. right. And then you have these white people who watch Fox News. Now, in right. both cases, it's dangerous. Right. Because, as I say to everybody, the hospitals are not overflowing with vaccinated people. Right. Hospitals right. in Europe, Asia, worldwide, South America, the hospitals are filled with unvaccinated people. Right. But even more than that, yes. And that's the, showing up now, even in the red states now. That's been the case all yeah. along. Yeah. Right now, what it's showing is counties that went for Donald Trump have that, significantly higher infection hospitalization, hospitalization and death rates than counties that went for Biden. And the, mm -hmm. it's they've been calling it a, a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Now mm -hmm. they're calling it a pandemic of, of Trump counties. Right. But it's not the African-American folks who are spreading the lies and the bullshit. Right. African-American folks are not trusting the government with good historical reason. Right, right. But they're not the ones saying... Take hydroxychloroquine. Right. They're not the ones who are pushing junk That's science. That's true. There's no. There's They're no, not the ones who are saying there's microchips in a fucking vaccine. Yeah. There's no yeah. black people taking horse dewormer. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, well, y'all got to try this horse dewormer. It's funny. I, I I noticed. I met a guy who's a QAnon dude. Yeah. yeah. And he says, "Don't you know that um, Prince was killed by Hillary Clinton?" Right. <laughs> yeah. To cover up the. I never told you. No. I used to do a joke no, about it. The it's dude said. Much. Prince was killed by Hillary Clinton, Clinton to cover up the pedophile ring at the Beatles right, ball. Exactly right, right. Because um, Prince was gonna Prince, rat him out. Prince, you was know, in make fairness, in fairness, Bill Clinton's secret security code name for Hillary was fentanyl. So maybe that's <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah. But Prince was killed by the same thing that killed Tom and, Petty. Hey, what kind of beret did Monica Lewinsky wear? Raspberry beret. Ras it, was, it, is. it wasn't a raspberry there beret, but why should that stop me? <laughs> just the fact that it's you factually know, inaccurate. on people to me, God bless them, are the tragic girl at the frat party who just wants to be lied yeah. to. Yeah. Tell me lies that squirt dopamine in my brain and fill me with pleasure, I think, is happiness. I, you know, that's I, it. Here's the other thing that really bothers me. I mean, I, 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 the, the, the Scarboroughs, the Joe Scarboroughs, yeah. mm -hmm. all of these dudes who, who kind of said, okay, this is, this is not the America. But you perpetuated this from the for Nixon years, years. years. Like this is it just it was it may have been racist light to you or or racist with splendor, but it was still racist. It was still going on, and now the switches because this idiot was so over the top. He was pure on cut. This. That's what Donald Trump was. It was just it was yeah. what the Republican Party has fentanyl. always been. He was yeah. fentanyl, yeah. I mean, Trump in many ways was the hood ornament on the car that crashes into the marketplace. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? He yeah. wasn't the driver. He was the hood ornament of it. Like Bush before him. Yeah, it's a movement. And you look at this party party of Lincoln. They're not even the party of Quail anymore. I mean, yeah. my God, the last time a Republican pol a president balanced a budget mm. was Eisenhower 70 years ago. Right. So you got from Eisenhower to Nixon, from Nixon to Reagan, right. Reagan down to Bush, Bush down to Bush Jr., Bush Jr. throwing pale in, yeah. then down to Trump. Like, who are they going to run next on the, like, like Kid yeah. Rock's Hepatitis is the yeah. only candidate they <laughs> yeah, could have yeah. for president. Not Kid Rock. Yeah. Kid, Kid Rock's Hepatitis. Kid, 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 Rock, Hepatitis. Kid Rock might run for uh, for the governor of uh, of Michigan, Michigan. Oh, fuck, and I, here's my promise: if he does it, I'm going to run against him. After I change my name <laughs> to Kid Paper, <laughs> <laughs> figure that shit out. I got it. I have a whole uh, strategy. I, yeah, I, but the only thing will fuck it up if an independent comes so in. Kid, Kid scissors, scissors comes <laughs> in. No, let me tell you about Kid Scissors. I won't run with him. I will not run with Kid Scissors. <laughs> He's an independent. He'll never get enough said, signatures. I will not run. <laughs> if, if selected, I will not run. <laughs> Um, it just, it just, <laughs> I, I, I also thought well, your Catskill show all of a sudden. I <laughs> that I'm, um, the, um, it's so silly. I love it. That's at the level that I love it. Yeah, you know, Jim true. Brewer, but you know, it's all right. <laughs> I, um, no, I also but like, Hey, I, rest in peace. I, I, I was, I, I've been doing like, cause I always try to see the historical reference of how this ended up. And I, you know, when you have, you, you, you talk about the Puritans coming here yeah. for religious freedom, but they were, the Calvinists, the Calvinists are, so, I don't know, I mean, you don't read books and stuff. No, no, no. But the, <laughs> but the, I mean, unless they got pictures. So you, them, you the know. Calvinists instituted this thing in their belief, their Protestant belief system. It was uh, like the manifest destiny, yeah. like like predestined 
Well, so also, the one thing is, we always spin that story about it's about religious freedom, but those people got kicked out of Europe exactly. because they were yeah, fucking up a good time. Maniacs. And by the way, think about that. Like, the Puritans were so uptight, yeah. they were kicked out of England. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's who began this culture of white yeah, people, yeah. okay? Yeah. yeah. And, and following a whole tradition of religious freedom means screw you, I get what I want. Yeah. Because that's what manifest manifest destiny yeah. is. Screw you, we take what we want. We American women. exceptionalism means mine. screw you, yeah. I take what I want. But I, I and I, I talk about religion a lot. I have a very long history with, with religion and the Christian faith. Were you you were a Catholic or no? Oh, I was. Dude, you don't know the backstory. Extremely on this? Catholic. No, 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 you got to no, tell them the Catholic. backstory on. Oh this no, I mean my my parents were clergy. Oh um, really? My, my my father was a Franciscan brother. Who wore the Jedi robes? And, wow! Uh, <laughs> Jedi for fifty, my mother was a nun. Really? Um, who uh, was also a nurse and worked with lepers in Malawi, Africa. So um, I liberal, pa- liberal much? <laughs> well, Jesus. yeah, liberal. I had I was the most liberal conservative kid mm. uh, in my school. Like my dad would never let us be Republicans, but mm. he did dress us like them. Right. So you know, I wasn't allowed to have long hair. I'd have the buzz cut and the thick glasses and yeah. the clip-on bow tie. But my dad would never vote for Reagan. And in my right. life, nothing made sense to me. I was the only kid whose parents voted wow. against Reagan growing up. But like what I learned growing up was that you know I, I love religious people, but it's yeah. the fundamentalists. Of all the world's great religions, that are the ones to keep making the world so complicated. Because fundamentally, I don't care if you're Muslim, yeah, yeah. Christian, Jewish, they all believe the same things. They yeah. believe that women are second class. The more conservative your religion is, yeah. Yeah. the same things you have in common. Yes. Women are second class citizens. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sex is bad unless it's for procreation. Gays are bad. Mm-hmm. Violence is okay if I do it because right. God approves. And you other religions are right, but yeah. mine's the one true one. Yeah. The more conservative your faith is, doesn't matter what the religion is. Right. Those five More traits. And the oh. overwhelming majority of moderate and liberal Christians and Jews and Muslims are getting along fine right now, and that doesn't get the clicks. Right. So the douchebags get all the attention. Right, right, right. It's, it's, uh, man, but I, but I, I have to, I, I, I keep saying this, it's just the belief, just the idea of faith is a belief in something that, uh, is a belief in something that you have no proof for. Exactly. And, and once you, mm. you, once you open that can of worms, it can go anywhere. Yeah. From then. I, I, like, I blame it on Jerry Springer. I mean, it's, okay. it was. I want to see where this goes. Well, because How do we get if here? you think about it, we, those were all constructed, written, Horrible stories, Im- immoral stories. You talking about Springer or the Bible? Both, both, oh, yeah, okay. both of them. <laughs> but we, we, we literally. I'm the New Testament guy. I'm a Maury Povich guy. I'm the New Testament guy <laughs> yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm just the Jesus guy. Just the Jesus part. Saint Paul, a uh, bit of a dick. I could do without. But well, yeah. you know, the apostles, they, they weren't great. First Judas, and then uh, the denier. Well, they're it's... kind of knuckleheads. The yeah. apostles. That's the whole thing. Jesus is con- Jesus is like Mo, and he's constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you you still head. religious? Are you still pretty? No, 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 not no. They. They say that the largest growing religious group is, uh, okay. is people. <laughs> no, people, uh, Mormons, they say it's the largest growing group. Okay. I think the largest growing religious group in this country mm-hmm. are people who were raised religious, but now th- consider themselves spiritual because mm. they still love the great mystery. They still want to find some poetry in this world, but they've had it with the hypocrisy of men in dresses and right. funny hats. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I loved uh, Men in Funny Hats. I thought they were great in the Men 80s. in Funny Hats. Honestly, uh, their early stuff was yeah, really rocking. Really good, uh, but yeah. then it was just like new wave clone after they, a while. They got kind of they stuff. got lost in the grunge. Too much movement. reverb. Too much reverb. Yeah, <laughs> they got lost in the grunge. It, it's a, <laughs> but it, it, I think that the belief in the faith allow it opens the door for the, this crazy shit yeah. because you sure you and then we then you're watching stuff like Springer. Well, it's listen, all fake. There's a lot of scientists in that convention. You know that uh, that faith convention that Brewer was performing at yes. the anti-vax oh, yeah. convention. Oh, yeah. A lot but of I'll cowboy hats. Not, but I'll, I'll tell you what else. There's not a lot of fans of what Jesus actually preached. Oh, no, the yeah. Bible. No, they don't. Because I ask yeah. all my Trump loved ones. I got a lot of Trump supporters in my family mm-hmm. from down south and and from my Brooklyn family. And I always ask the same thing: Can you cite one teaching of Jesus that Donald Trump has ever fought for legislatively? One teaching of Christ from the Gospels that the modern Republican Party mm-hmm. fights for at all? Right. And that's how I learn how little my Christian loved ones know about the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Because the Bible's not against abortion, but that's the racket. They have used, they, they have gotten millions of Christians to vote against everything Christ talked about by talking about abortion, which Jesus never fucking talked right. about. And right. that's the racket. I, I, I'm with you, though. I mean, I don't think the opposite of faith is doubt. Right. I think doubt is part of everyone's faith. Right. I think the opposite of faith is certainty. When you know for a fact, when the faith is so strong that it's a certainty, that's not faith. 
That's not when you're when you know for a fact that my side is right and God will approve if I bomb this country because I'm Do on the you, side of God. Are you that's are not you faith. are you uh, are you certain that there is a God? No, with, no, no. So no. you're more agnostic than it is. I'm with you on that. Yeah. How can you be certain that there, Here's there's what I, not? I, the odds I, are it's not. But I, I admit that I choose to believe. Yeah, because right. I believe in God because you gotta blame somebody. Right? <laughs> right, right. You gotta blame someone. So it's like somebody has to be. But the I don't. But say I don't that believe... again because I really think that's a. a, a I, I I believe. What did you say? I, I, I I'll admit that I that choose, I choose to, believe. to believe. We all choose to believe. Is it in in the context of comfort? Like, is it for some? It's comfort. For some, it's brainwashing and programming. Yeah. Look, I don't. When I don't believe in God the way I believed in God when I was a kid. Right, right. I don't think God's a, a, a large white bearded guy with yeah. a fuck off white mane of hair who is throwing lightning bolts in the sky. I think, you know, the first century Jews believed that God was something you experienced by giving and loving and having fun and doing good deeds and being a mensch. And then when the Greeks translated all this stuff, the Greeks, what was their belief? White guy with a fuck off beard on a mountain throwing lightning bolts down. They had all of the, all of the Christian, the Jewish ideas of God got filtered through Greek myth. Right. And that's why we have this angry alcoholic step God character in the Bible. Who just wants to be worshipped and and uh, it's, it's in, I always say that uh, Rome conquered Greece, but Greece, Greece's culture conquered Rome. Yeah, they they just That's great. took it took over. Kind of like hip hop, like <laughs> East Coast West Coast of Europe. No, just just hip hop. Just hip hop. The hippity general. hop. The hippity hop. Hippity hop. The hop. The hop. <laughs> Um, John, is this is is this philosophy partly now because with your long hair you represent Christ more than ever? <laughs> no, and let me explain. Uh, the only thing I have in common with Jesus yes. is that neither of us would ever wear a fucking man bun. That is that's it, true. Okay? That's uh, true. I grew out the hair, but no, I, I I don't know. And this is how you know, like I I I don't like my faith is such that I could never say an atheist is wrong. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Sure. Yeah. I don't and I don't pretend to have answers to anything. So, so and I also like think the Bible. Like... The thing I do with the Bible is. Jesus is a guy who only speaks in parable and metaphor. Right. Why is it so hard to view the Bible as parable and metaphor? There's a lot of truth in the Bible, not necessarily a lot of facts. Right. So what mm, I rely yeah. on in the Bible is what can I prove in the Bible? Yeah. Nothing. Right. The only white people in the Bible are the ones who killed Jesus. Right. What I can prove about the Bible is that Jesus' teachings so hold you're, up. So you're almost like... like like Dawkins, in a way, like Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins talks uh, about no. the Bible, huh? No, I mean, I, 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 well, I understand he's an atheist, but I'm, but I'm, I mean, he talks about the Bible in terms of the literary work, yes. the beauty of the literary work, Which I and think the parables, to, yeah. and and the, the allegory, yeah, is is what he thinks is is magnificent which is the same thing that you're saying yes. it's the fundamentalism that when you take that in a exactly. fundamental you know. exactly like i you know i remember having my first like a uh, old testament is literature course in college where i just you know came to realize that the whole bible is just this one theme of, of order and chaos there's chaos and then god imposes order and man fucks it up you know like like the garden of eden man fucks it up yeah. god reimposes order then yeah. man gets evil god has a flood reimposes order you know, yeah. like it's constantly man keeps fucking up and God keeps forgiving man. And yeah. to me, that's kind of a nice kind of religion and faith to believe in. But I view God and Jesus yeah, yeah. like I view Darth Vader and Anakin, like right, Darth right. Vader, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Like the father is a lot more powerful, but dude's got some anger issues and the son's not a dick. Yeah. So I'll go with the yeah. son. More. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, um, Joseph, you ever read the book by Joseph Campbell, The Hero? Oh, yeah. By Joseph. The Hero's Amazing. Um, but the I, I think it's got what's, any pictures in it or something? No, no it's pretty I'm hard. Out. I'm, it's out. Pretty hard. I'm out. Sorry, <laughs> it's I why tried. we have Star Wars yeah, <laughs> and uh, the Matrix, yeah. and yeah. you know, yeah, this story, which is all about religion, even yeah. more than Star Wars, yeah. Yeah. even the Trinity. Um, yeah, I mean, all the stories are. I mean, they are the same. It's a similar arc. As far as the Bible goes, where they sure, sure, sure. you know, good versus evil, except, except the like, look at look at now with like the anti-vax stuff, right? Yeah. Now Tucker Carlson and everybody on Fox News, they've all had their shots. Yeah. You have to have okay, shots yeah, to yeah, go yeah. into that building, yeah. right? But they're going out there sowing distrust about it every night, and they're getting this plausible denial. Tucker's like, "I'm just asking questions. No, I'm yeah. just asking questions." I don't, yeah. no, it's I like, well, then why don't you have ask. a motherfucker who can answer the question, yeah. Tucker? You just want to sow doubt. And people say, "How can they do this? They're sending their own voters and 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 they're sending their own they viewers care. to death." They don't care because they've realized they don't need them to win elections anymore. They realize that if you slow down a Biden recovery, that helps your chances more. And in a religion, in a faith, the savior dies for you. Okay. Right. It, the leader dies for you. In right. a cult, you die for the leader. And that's, that's what they're doing. You die for Mr. Trump. And the only thing Trump and Jesus have in common 
are they both hung out with hookers and they both use ghostwriters. <laughs> you cannot follow anyone who thinks you can follow Trump and Jesus. I'm sorry, you haven't read either of their books. Yeah, yeah. The the interesting about all of this is I, everything has this kind of. I always say that the true wisdom is the understanding of underlying concepts how they relate to situations that seem irrelevant but really are not. Yeah. And understanding the rule And not getting bitter about it. Right. And and you understand that rule and then you reapply that over and over and over and over again. And and what's really interesting about all of this is it's like if you – like I I was a street dude. Um, I mean, I ran the street. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I I look like a gardener. I thought you were (laughs) Dalton school prep kid all the way. But you you cannot – you cannot – Bargain with somebody. I, I hustled a little you bit. Can. You cannot bargain with somebody who has no no code of ethic. So if there's no loyalty, I mean, yeah. even in the most drug deals, gun deal, whatever, there has. I have to come bring you my money and know that I can, I can, that you're a businessman and, and you're you going to give me my. And it's gonna in be both a, of your interests, self interest, to not fuck with each other. And if I don't have no loyalty to anything and no morality, and like the thing that re, I say, the thing that drive drove me really nuts, and I'm 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 not mad at it because I hate all of them, but when you when you turned on Pence, the dude that carried the water for you. Yeah. From before you even, yeah. he was the first dude with the. If you could, but of course they did. If it's you could cult. cut, if you could Brutus that dude, you yeah. could I Claudius that dude. <laughs> Where, but he did that long before. I mean, yeah, it's but, a pattern, yeah because right. Trump talks about loyalty, but to him it's just obedience. Yeah, it's just, you, know, you yeah, confuse loyalty guy. and obedience together in Pence. It's just convenience. Horrible human being. Yeah, revoltingly fake Christian. Uh, and he did one good thing in his life, and now we're going to call him a hero. And the irony of Pence is the one decent thing he's ever done yeah, is the one thing he never wants to talk about. Right. And because he, Mike Pence thinks he can get people who wanted to hang him to vote for him. I mean, it's a cult. Yeah. And again, this is Al-Qaeda. This is ter- terrorists sure, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because terrorists do the same exact thing. When yeah. you have people who, who, who are uh, have low education, they are economically disenfranchised, they are fucked with by the system, they, and there's ignorance, and there's poverty, you go to them and you tell them who to blame, I don't care if you're the KKK or Al-Qaeda, you're going to see violence somewhere else, and yeah. it's always the cult leader sending someone else to fight and die for them. Yeah. Donald yeah. Trump pardoned Steve Bannon. Yeah. who was ripping off Trump supporters with that build the wall yeah, and sure, he got sure. indicted for it. Trump pardoned him. Trump pardoned nobody who went and did the fighting on January 6th. Yeah. They're all going to jail. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. And then, and then they're going, well, what? I, well, what? You, you, you purposely overlooked the, the character of this man. You, you consistently. To, to, because of to, abortion, Dante. Because of abortion. Yeah, Dante. and, and the, 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 I understand that there's, you talk about, um, under underclass and underpaid white folks who well, the only thing they're saying as long as you as listen no matter how bad it is sure you're in Appalachia you don't have fresh water but at least you're not a nigger yeah and they're and they're putting in they're going yeah that, and if those the, poor white people yeah. could ever understand that they have more in common with poor black people of course than they do with rich white people you know, when Kanye came out and supported Trump at the height of it all, and I'm like, I'm not surprised. Kanye has yeah, more in common with Donald Trump than he has with anybody who still lives in Chicago. And both is crazy. Mm. I mean, millionaire, like rich celebrity is its own ethnic group. Yeah. When Ellen sat with George W. Bush at the, yeah. at the football game, it was yeah. depressing. But I, I mean, George Get W. It. Bush ran for re-election running against gay marriage in 04. But yeah. I got it because they're the same they ethnic the same group. Class so now. Kanye yeah. is in the same ethnicity as Donald Trump. The classes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so pervasive. I, I think... But I, I, what's interesting too is, is like we the, the the basic fundamental principles that we talk about on the show in terms of guys and relationship is is the acronym is ACE. I say this all the time: it's authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Um, and if you practice those three things, everything falls into place. And if you think about it, the reason why people remember the story of Jesus Christ is because you know they literally they were like, oh, all you gotta do is say you're not. You're not, the, you're not the dude. You're not the king of good. You yeah. just, just say it. I don't care if you believe it or not, but if you don't, you don't, but they don't say care. it. But they, they, don't want care what, they don't care what Jesus actually taught about. No. They say, do you no. believe he's the son of God and he returned from the dead? Right. And it's like, okay, you know what? Uh, that's very nice, but um, let's talk about what he actually said. Right. Because how do you go and vote for the guy who says, I'm going to bring back torture and I'm going to turn away war refugees yeah. after right. he'd been stealing from American veterans with a fraudulent on-on university, yeah. 
mocking disabled reporters. I won't even talk about grabbing by the pussy. Yeah. It's like, go ahead and say you like him. Don't go telling me it's Christian, because then I'm going to ask you to tell me what part of Christ motivated you. Yeah. And then you realize these people haven't read the Bible. They just want to they, know they that they're care. on the team yeah. that's right. Yeah. So I accept Jesus as my Savior means doesn't matter what he actually commands me to do. And worshiping Jesus as a God, I learned at a very young age, is a lot easier than following his inconveniently liberal teachings. Separate and Because Jesus makes you love the people you hate. Right. I mean, he he commands you love the people you hate. And man, the older as the, the older I got, and the more I read the Bible, the harder it was to actually live up to that. But the whole thing about worship as a god, yeah, that's great. But that's that's to me empty emptiness if you're not actually doing the works, if you're not loving. And there's no Jesus based argument for Trump support. Now, people get mad at me for saying this, but I just say go read the Gospels and come back and tell me one thing they have in common. Yeah. It's, but I think what's happening now more than anything. I came here is, to talk about relationships and being a woke yeah, well, man, by the well, way. Well, 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 I'll bring it around. <laughs> Let's spin it around into that. But, but when we're talking about, you're talking about the, the, the you talk about the, the story of Christ. It's his. His By the way, Dante, I'm going to take all these clips and cut them up uh, with no context and uh, just and say just Dante is uh, <laughs> Dante again. converts to, to Christianity. Yeah. <laughs> Dante is going to be like Bob Dylan in '79. He's going to found his fans. Fuck. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a fake twit, uh, twit, uh, twit, fake tweet that you and Brewer are doing a show together I, on the same. How much does it pay? I could do a, I could do a cockatoo. <laughs> Dude, if we could get you, get if, we could, if we could just send get your him, booster shot, if we no. could get you on that convention, oh my god, how great would that, that be? Oh god, <laughs> I just you know keep looking at. I mean, we do this every night on Sirius XM, and I got to do the numbers every night, and it's people who aren't vaxxed who are filling up the hospitals. Now, most of the people who die, the majority are seniors. That's true. One in one hundred Americans over the age of sixty-five have died of this thing. Wow, uh, eight hundred thousand. I mean, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a million. Mm. very very soon a million Amer americans alone yeah and we are like the shots are like democracy we yeah. have it the rest of the world wants it and we don't and use it that much they can't even get it yeah they all w it. they wish they had shots and democracy in africa yeah we got both over here we we can't be bothered we don't want yeah. use either yeah. and and so you know i i respect i respect people of color who don't trust the government talking about this, this but this, worldwide yeah. look at every country in the world and again it's not it's harm reduction like wearing a mask, it's not going to prevent it 100%. Right. But if you get it, your symptoms will be worse. It'll be harder for you to give it to somebody else. You probably won't go to the hospital. You probably won't die. And the numbers bear it out in country after country after country mm. around the world. The, so it would have to be the entire the world. symptoms would be worse or they won't be worse? No, your symptoms will be much lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah lighter. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, cool. I know people yeah. who are double vaxxed and, and have it. And, you know, yeah, they got a bad cold for a week, but they're not going to the hospital. Yeah. And but, I know people but, but who died a, from this. It's a horrible a, virus. Uh, uh, By the way, if they had, if they had allowed TV news cameras to film ventilator wards in the first six yeah. months, everybody would be fucking vaccinated. Yeah. Because if you this thing replicates in your lungs until you can't breathe, and people have died in wow. India, people just in the, just died gasping yeah, for I breath. Yeah, a friend of mine that's, that's, he went out to India, and he like there was just bodies in the street, bodies just, everywhere, just insane. I, but I think the um, there's also this idea. Uh, like, you know, when you say trust the government, I mean, the, the government is just not trustworthy. I agree. Right. And, the, and it's the boy I who trust the science wolf. more. Yeah, I yeah. trust the science. I, you you got to trust and the I science. And I trust the numbers. And you got to look at the, you got to look at the scope, like what's going, like I said, it was a global thing. Like Denmark is some of the happiest people in the world and they exactly. wanted to vax everybody. Yeah. You know. Um, and why are they so happy? Because yeah. the government realized it's better for our economy to not have people having to have a fucking GoFundMe to pay for their kids' surgery. And like, let's Korea, make too. North Korea yeah. was like, look, you, you're you getting vaxxed. That's what I tell to my Trump loved ones. I say, look, I'm fighting for you to not have a ventilator down your yeah. throat. I'm fighting for your kid to not have decades of student loan debt. I'm yeah. fighting for you to not have a GoFundMe page when your kid needs a surgery. You know, it's just like we have to keep trying to pay it forward and, and try to have a more decent society that, you know, that doesn't always put millionaires first. Mm. It's, I think it's also like this lack of validation that people have is in such a, in a moment, everybody is is trying to be validated in some shape or form. It's like, I've, yeah. you've had, I had a, I, I was out, outside stand up New York and this guy says to me, I, I was talking about, I, this was a while ago. I was talking about the Kaepernick thing and I was mm. saying how, you know, what side has, are you on? Uh, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay. Sorry. I just want to see. 
I mean, come on, it's the same. Side. Yeah, and I was talking. He, I was talking about how he spoke to a marine, and they thought the kneel sure. was. Gonna, and this guy comes. He goes, oh, oh, the marine is the one who you? told him to kneel because sitting yeah. was, was was disrespectful. Yeah, right. Instead he could have given the finger. He could have done a fist. But he all was kinds of stuff. Deferential this, and genuine. Like it was the smartest protest he could. This have done. guy runs up. He goes, hey, let me ask you a question. And I said, listen, I really don't like your energy. <laughs> I said, but I, here's what I'll do. I will have a discussion with you. I will not have a debate. Right on. He goes, what are you, what are you, what are you? I go, well, That's the where you lost him. Because now you got to explain the difference. Yeah. And I go, I don't have a problem exchanging ideas with you when we are in good faith. But when, How did he, he handle that? He goes, he, I don't think he even understood. He just went right through with he his just, talking. Yeah, points. I just, let me go to my, he goes, they how come fight, black women win. have the highest rate of, of abortion? I go, first I get all, that shit all the time. I, I go, oh, they I, care about black babies all of a sudden. Now, huh? I, the same I, people who always told me that black women have too many babies are now telling now me that black me. women have too many abortions. <laughs> and you know what I say to them all the time? I say, are you saying that black women should have their abortion rights taken away? Is that your argument? That black women <laughs> should lose their abortion point. rights? Yes. And that'll piss them off. Yeah. I, I said to him, he, he goes, I go, well, well, let me ask you, you care about black babies and abortions? Do you, do you volunteer somewhere? Do you, what do you do? What are you actively Do you want do? to make it easier to get birth control and sex ed? You don't want that either. No, I said, you, they don't you, want that. You don't do anything actively. And I said, and I don't, I don't, I said, I don't trust you. Anyway, I, I go, I know you think you, and you could just see the, the fact that I was dismissing him. His, his, his whiteness was so bruised. I said, I don't respect you. You don't really seem that smart. I go, you got, look, you look like shit. I go, you got deodorant on your shirt. You can't even put your shirt on without getting deodorant on your shirt. So, and you want me to, you want me to listen to your data well, because it, you, you're a white dude and you're talking to me. And I don't give a fuck about you. I said, I'm bigger than you. I could beat you and my dick's bigger. I don't really so want to hear from what a, you It was say. neither a debate nor a discussion. It was just a scene from 8 Mile just, just where you just started yeah, yeah, snapping yeah, yeah, on him. Yeah, yeah. And the guy, he goes, well, do you know what GDP is? I go, I go we're not having a good fight. I refuse it's to have no. d discussions that are not in good faith anymore. It's it's insane. It's, this new they thing. don't want to debate. They want to win. They yeah. want to own a lib. They want to own you. These guys, boy, guys who don't mind the Confederate flag really are into owning people. Yeah. You ever notice that? Who would have thought that would be? It's just... <laughs> So amazing that the fact that, but I, I think but that's it has insecurity, to do, and we're all lonely. It, yes, and we're all waiting for someone to like our post to give us a sense of validation because we're staying at home and we're scared. And the media culture's mean, and you got they, they got rid of the fairness doctrine, so now we're all just like get your news from your niche and get your news. We don't go to the news for information; we go for yeah. affirmation. Yeah, and we're the divided tribes of America. Yeah. And the boldest, the boldest big dick energy thing you can do is offer an open heart to somebody who's coming at you with hate. Absolutely. So this isn't that dissimilar from how incels happen. It's totally. just the desire oh, sure. to want to be on the right side. But it's the, also but obsessed it's also with your own fear. victimhood. Your own victimhood. Yeah. It's, it's also a fear. Right. So, like, we will, I mean. Incels can take a fucking dance class, Harry. That's yeah. true. Incels could go take a fucking dance class and get a haircut and buy some decent clothes. That's true. I went, I went, I, I spent three years in salsa class. Best, right, best thing you know I am ever... talking about. <laughs> if you're staying in your parents' basement watching porn all day and really angry that these disappointing real life women don't come at you like the girls in the porn you're monogamous with, dude, what's involuntary about your celibacy? You're yeah, signing sure, up yeah. for this shit. Get yeah. out of your parents' yeah. basement, take a dance class, and talk to women. Well, that's I mean, that's how respect. I ended up being the pope of 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 the Proud Boys. You know that, right? You know that whole thing. But it was they they just what the they head did. Not that John Gay was. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> but it's just it. they <laughs> they cut out the empathy part. Yeah. So the yet yeah, is you're supposed to be truthful. You're supposed to have credibility. You say what you mean. But mean there have always say. been men who view empathy as weakness. It, always. It, but it's it's Every such culture. a much more difficult thing to do. Put yourself in somebody else's place. I, it's just. But these kids, are, these kids were so afraid of the rejection. Yeah. And they didn't want to. I mean, I, they didn't want to be rejected. I, and it's it's even when I counsel guys, I go, look, dude, you you. Would you be expect to be great at ping pong the first time you picked up a paddle? You you gotta lose. You gotta chase the ball around. You gotta. Oh, I know. And, and, but they, but when I, I was mean, a kid, like I I I didn't know. Like I I thought I have to get a sense of humor so I can talk to girls. Right. Pre me too. I didn't know I could just be a fucking monster, and that was right. okay. Right. And it's you like know, you you, you have these guys them. who become abusive, or yeah. you have these guys who just are lazy. And obsessed with their own victimhood, these incels yeah. who want to punish women for not thinking they're swell. Yeah. And it's lazy and it's unmanly sure. and it's cruel. Sure. And it's only going to hurt themselves. They, you know, just 
guys, life will, life is all about how brave you are. And the Bible says, knock and the door will open. Yeah. So if you want to get with real ladies, stop watching porn, <laughs> find something you're really good at, yeah. go be good at it in public, and learn how to talk to people. Yeah. Right. But you got to, you're going to fail. You're going to, yeah, you, you, you are going to fail that. T- I mean, you don't get on stage and you get, get funny. Better, exactly. It takes time. But any, my grandmother used to say anything worth something is worth a just sacrifice. And you, 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 if you think it's, if, if, if it was easy, everybody would do, everybody would be doing it. Right. So you say over and over again, you see just lazy. And then, but what then what happens is with the, with the internet and with the technology, now you have guys who will create a website and a, and a chat room. Which is they, and who's better at building those things than those nerds? They got the three D graphics and all oh, yeah. kinds of shit. Yeah. And so and now you found a place that 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 makes you feel comfortable, that validates you because it's not just me; it's a whole group. Look at it. Nerd, nerds who write code just wait, gentlemen. Yeah. By the time you yeah. get to your thirties, the ladies will find you. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I think it's already changing a little bit because there is a generation of. of it's not the same. There's that not that stigma on nerd anymore. It's Correct. okay, and and there's nerd I mean, and esports nerd are and the loser. most popular. When Dude, we were kids, know, nerd and loser were synonymous. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. not the case. It's not, now it's not. not anymore. Yeah, Dude, I'm a nerd. I'm a fan. Yeah. I love Star Trek. I love. I did say. Th- I did say that if you really broke it down, Dante <laughs> Nero is technically the king of the hipsters <laughs> because you ride a unicycle. Oh my, that's you know big, how to yeah. juggle. Yeah, you got tattoos. I you got a whole t- sleeve. I had them early. More than a sleeve of tattoos. You love black culture. I love black culture. You love black hip hop. <laughs> you are king of the hips. I am. Hipster. If we think about it, you you dress audaciously. You're the king of the hips. You're very will, hipster. Can I, I get will. you some mustache wax, Mr. Brooklyn? I got That's some upstairs. True. If you need some, I got <laughs> the, um, You just got to get some black rim glasses. That's but the, the only other, thing. But, and, and I will I will watch a three-hour special on will. Dark Matter. You will. Yeah. It. I, was, like, oh, this I was, went to see the Dark Matter movie at the Planetarium. Really? Yeah, I brought my kids to it. I have no idea what it was, but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I look good, Dark look Matter. Good. It sounds like my journal entries. I, yeah. wanted to be, I wanted to be a theoretical physicist. That was what I wanted to do. And then that somehow, that went right from there to stripping. <laughs> hey, look, he paid his way cross country doing that. <laughs> yeah. He did a 180. Listen, it's, that it's, stripping it's, got him out of the coast. You gotta know some strip. physics in order to do that helicopter. That's thing. true. You gotta. It is what it is. The um, but it's just it's amazing to me this this this. I, everybody wants to be remembered. Everybody wants to be validated. And 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 yeah. now with the internet, it gives, which is great because it gives so many venues and so it's open for so much creativity. To the same token, the greatest thing about the internet is everybody can be on it, and the worst thing about the internet is that everybody can be on it, and everybody has a voice now that, and people will. There's no, there's no qualifications Correct. to be a mentor anymore. No. Well, the internet's like the Bible or the Constitution. Yeah. Whatever you want, it's a mirror. What you can so whatever you want to see in it is what you will see in it. Yeah. So if you like, like the, if you want to see a Bible that is about love and forgiveness and compassion and grace sure. and kindness, then that's what you will see. And if you want to see cold-hearted homophobia, bigotry, and just brutality, you'll see that too. Whatever yeah. you want to see, yeah. that reflected. Internet, is, uh, internet. There's there's babies alive because their parents met on the internet. There's good yeah. things about it, but yeah. you know, it's yeah. like I got to keep reminding myself that, and that's America. Yeah, I love a lot of things about this country. Yeah, yeah. even the you know the the the. the the bad parts of it, 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 it's the freedoms that allow the bad parts to seep in. Yes. Because you have the freedoms for that for hate and stuff. You can you can hate. I I just think it it's this this lack of fulfillment and this validation that everybody's and everybody's so grossly insecure and and so damaged and hurt people hurt people and and you got to be very confident to admit that it's cyclic and it's so cyclical. Yeah. In a, in a, well, part of that is the the process of all this, the, the way the system became set up, which is to squeeze and squeeze more out of middle class and lower class people. Totally. So they don't have anything left, so they have to glom on to something else. That's yeah. right. And now the middle class is the is the top of the bottom. Yeah. I did a whole movie about this for PBS about, yeah. you know, the the decline of upward mobility in this country, the, the yeah. disappearance of the middle class. And it's been going on systematically for 40 years. And, you know, why do people vote against their own interests? Because of hate. They'll tell them who to hate. Yeah. 
I, you know, they'll, they'll they got you, they got a lot of anger too. They be, got a lot of anger. They're not going to tell you what they're going to do for you. So they'll tell you Hunter Biden's laptop or critical yeah, race yeah. theory or something to piss you off and or get you to go. We've been blaming vote. Mexicans for, I mean, two decades now. That's the thing. It, it would happen think, every. It used to happen just every four years, and then it became every midterm election. What do you mean, Mexico? Just, oh, yeah, it yeah. would just they're taking our jobs. The Mexicans yeah. are taking our jobs. They're illegal immigrants are taking our jobs. God damn it! I dreamed of migrant farm work. Yeah, I I wanted to pick strawberries. I can't can't do those. You see those guys. Those guys hanging out outside Home Depot, they outsourced your job to China. It was yeah. them. Yeah. But I say all the time about that. Like, that's yeah. the biggest racket in the world. Is yeah. Illegal immigration is a gaslighting bullshit racket because yeah. there is a gigantic help wanted sign at our southern border. Right. right. This country's whole history is exploited labor of brown people, so, exploited labor of marginalized people. The entire Triangle, restaurant industry. How the, the Chinese workers that built the railways the and slavery and women in the Triangle Sherways factory and the children that are in slave labor building our gadgets today. Yeah. And there's a gigantic help wanted sign at our border. And there's no wall you can build that's high enough to hide it. So I tell you, all my conservative friends, I always say, any politician that tells you talks about illegals, which I consider to be a racist, yeah. dehumanizing, otherizing slur. Sure. But anyone talk about illegals without talking about locking up the white people who do the hiring. Yeah. I don't care what party they're from. They're yeah. lying to well, you. Well, then so when they raid a factory, they it tomorrow. Yeah. Priest, when they raid a factory. This, exactly. Yeah. When they raid a factory, they yeah. send illegals. They deport the illegals. But they never do anything to the the people who yeah. hired them. Are counting no the money in the back room? Or, yeah, yeah, they're fine. They never, those those people never pay fines. You, they could nothing. end yeah. illegal immigration sure. tomorrow. Yeah. That's how you know it's racist. And the majority of undocumented work people are people who overstayed their visas, not cross the border, the border illegally. No. That's how you know it's racist. Yeah. Came here on a plane. Yeah. yeah, and by the way, illegals is never – I've never heard the word illegals used to describe a white lawbreaker no. in my life. Remember it, Che uh, – you know Che Guevara. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he did like a TikTok thing of like how people think he made it across his border and it's oh, yeah. like him sneaking under fences and swimming. He goes, how I really came here and he's just watching The Lion King on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Just watching 1994, just watching The Lion King. <laughs> like, like, a little scotch in a rock glass. Yeah, yeah. that's it's, how he got it. It's, 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 it's such a uh, – uh, uh, like – it's, we've lost so much on just the fact that everybody's trying to re be remembered. And I, I think that there's How does no, this tie in with everything? Well, I, I think that the truth, you know, one of the things that I've, I, I say to guys all the time, any guys that I, I consult is that the truth is the most attractive thing. That truth and credibility is the most attractive thing. It's the thing that makes a woman feel safe. It's a woman that makes, a, it, it, and without, nobody's hot, nobody's getting hot because they're afraid that you might assault them. Yeah. Well, I mean, some are, but that's a whole nother. But even that's in the that's context. That's not real assault. Yeah, though. that's right. Wow, it's like you're reading my Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> and and so the, the truth of it, the fact that you tell the truth, that you're you're you, you're credible, you say what you mean and you mean what you say, and that you have some level of empathy yeah. is this. But none of this is present in this political uh, environment. But it anymore. is in voters. It is in people. You know, let's let's also look at the flip side of it. Right. When I grew up, uh, you could be fired just for being gay from any job, right? right. Mm -hmm. And and I moved to New York City when the AIDS activism was really beginning and, mm -hmm. and getting heavy, and people were coming out, and straight people were becoming allies. And what do we see from AIDS activism within uh, within thirty years? Uh, marriage equality. Right. right. The swiftest advancement of civil rights for any oppressed minority in the history of the human race was gay people around the world yeah. from AIDS to marriage equality. And it happened because of a plague. And America was one of the countries that led the way because enough people learned. I know so many guys. You both know so many guys who were raised to be homophobes yes, because that's sure. what good I was people one of them. are. I grew up 80s hip hop. We got better. Yeah. We became better. Look at Howard Stern, how yeah. much he's grown as a yeah, man. Yeah. It's yeah. like. You know, the ones who were afraid of evolution are the ones who are going to stay bored. Or if it, yeah. even if it wasn't homophobia, it was just uh, not being aware of like how things affect people, the language. Yeah. Empathy. Do you, like do you also, yeah. But the other thing is, I think that because uh, uh, LGBT community was so cross cultural across every every, it was exactly. a human thing that nobody could ignore. And gay it. people were an oppressed minority inside yeah. every minority. Right. Absolutely. It's, 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 you would, you would literally see this homophobia in, you know, when my, my, my mom was Baptist at first and then I became a Catholic and you, there would be 
don't lay down with a man. It would be yeah. all this Nothing sermon from about Jesus. this. That's all and then Leviticus. the gayest dude in the church would sing the solo yep. at the end. Always. And 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 then every time you got married, there was the usher was the gayest dude. Sure, he had a Always. wife and four kids. Yeah. But he, <clears throat> the he, priest he, was oh, often yeah. the gayest yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 It, you know? It's just so in, so such inconsistency and incongruency and lies and. But we become kinder. Yeah. I yeah. mean, even this Pope, you know, yeah. this Pope yeah. has, has made the church kinder. Yeah. Uh, and so for me, like, I don't believe in the American dream because of venture capitalism. Yeah. I don't believe in the American dream because of our ability to bomb the shit out of third world nations of brown people. Sure. I, be I believe in the American dream because of what I've seen, right. which was people become kinder. People stopped waiting for the government to give them their rights. and They demanded their rights. Mm -hmm. And Ronald Reagan let 20,000 American people die before he said the word AIDS. Mm. But it was one of Ronald Reagan's Supreme Court justices, 30 years later, who wrote right. the majority opinion for marriage equality. Yeah. So I believe that's proof in evolution. It's proof that America can get better and men can get better. And and Ronald Reagan's boy was Rock Hudson. Well, for a while, until yeah. he got sick. Yeah. And they yeah. wouldn't take his calls. And, and they, they really, him. and then he blew oh, him yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He blew him off they terribly. Yeah. He <laughs> reached out. And Nancy Reagan. And said, by the way, the nah, Bush is son. the same thing. George Bush was never a homophobe, but they knew this is how you get elected. So they yeah. ran against yeah. gay marriage in 04. And I'm like, and Mitt Romney, the same. Mitt Romney's well, not a homophobe, even, but he even ran against it. Bill Clinton yeah. and even Barack Obama. Well, that's different. First, I'm going to tell you why one. it's different. What? Yeah. I because think it was all political. It was all political. Barack yeah, Obama was for gay marriage in the 90s. Sure. Yeah. Then he came out against it when he was running for president. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. But the LGBT people still supported Bill Clinton. Because he was better than Dolan Bush, they supported yeah. Obama because he was better than yeah, yeah. than than McCain and and yeah. and and because they knew they had a better shot with these guys. Yeah. But like Mitt Romney wasn't anti-gay, but he yeah. pretended to be. And I'm like, what's worse, being a bigot or being a calculating non-bigot who yeah. realizes bigotry can get you votes? And so yeah. Donald Trump goes out and spreads this lie that the first black president wasn't born here for years. Was where no it evidence. all started. That's and I'm, I'm like, honestly, John, I'm still I miss like those the, days when that's all he did. Remember that? Like, that's all his involvement in politics. I'm still angry about worth. it because the media still has given everybody a pass. Yeah. Sure. Everybody in his circle got a pass on the racist birtherism. There yeah. was all. There was never a debate yeah. about where Barack Obama was born. There was only a racist lie. Yeah, sure. But you yeah. guys know. Yeah, yeah. Racism today is the denial of racism. Yeah. How can we have a black president? How can it be racism anymore? Right. It's. It, but it, it, there has to be a consequence. And we were talking about this, even with the Me Too movement, there's a consequence, but a lot of times there's an overcorrection for the undercorrection. You know, like you, the pendulum swings all the way, right. and then it finds a balance, and then hopefully it finds a balance. And uh, But I, I think what's really interesting about that is I say you're starting to see police officers take, take get, you know, have a consequence for the brutality and so on and so forth. Yeah. And but Maybe. you're, you're Maybe. still talking one one so far. Um well there's a couple they're losing jobs. I mean they're not getting put in jail. Not but the guy who killed Philando Castile, not no, the guy who killed no, Eric Garner. No. I mean we could go through the list. Well I mean but you you there are no. some that have lost jobs and there's people that are losing jobs for brutality, maybe not murders and stuff like that. But I mean it has to be it has to start somewhere. Yeah. No, Chauvin was huge. Chauvin was huge. And I think if they do uh I, I think when they start holding responsible the same way they did with the mobsters with the rico law yes like you you right. you watching this which is even even more so because of the fact that your oath is to to take care of other people's rights to, right. to support other people's rights so and so a lot of times i mean i've had arguments about this and said there's no good cop because it's not it's not possible to be a good cop because if you're a yeah. cop and you're witnessing and, you, and they've all witnessed this abuse this overreach of violence, I know, and they've let it go. They shut and they and, I, and, I know. and it's not that I don't I don't understand. It could they their life might be on the line if they turn against them. But it's becoming to a situation where now people are like, you you can't do that. There there's but there's yeah. the people who will only stop because there's a consequence. They don't want to lose their job. If you're a cop and you have white supremacist shit on your Facebook, yeah. you, you don't right. get to take taxpayer money to protect and defend the American population. And that was not When the Joe situation. Biden came out and said, we're going to root out white supremacy from police departments, I was like, I don't believe that's going to happen, but I can't believe he actually said it. Right, right. right. That's the first step, is just first someone saying, saying it. Just yeah. saying it, just acknowledging it. going to do it. And Maybe the are. next president I mean, they're, might they're do it. They're finding stuff and they're firing people. Yeah. I mean, they're still... They're, 
you know, they get hired in the next Some county. But, yeah, but, it's but like it's pedophile. A, it's like pedophile priests, racist cops are the new version. Just yeah, move to yeah. A new parish. And you find more over than not that you you don't really hate you don't really hate black people. You hate black people when you can do it with no consequence. Well, there's bigotry, right? And then there's racism, and then there's white supremacy. Right. You can have no problem with black people, right. just as long as y'all understand right. my race is better. Yeah, I'm supreme. Yeah, right? Like, there's plenty of racists who love Steve Harvey. Yeah. But they'll automatically believe that Barack Obama wasn't really born here because another white guy told me. Yeah. And there's a lot of Caucasians who don't think that there's any... Unless I hear a white person say the N-word on tape, it's, I refuse to believe, as a white person, there was racism, I have spoken. Yeah. It's like, you know, a lot of white people still don't understand we're not calling you bigots. Yeah. We're not saying you're a hater. We're saying that your your ignorance, your unconscious bias, can be a part of the problem. Yeah, that's it. And you're talking, yeah, you're talking about programming that's been going on. Yeah, I mean they didn't they didn't pat they uh, Clinton didn't finish the genome project until 2020. Uh, 20, 2020 is when they passed. No, it was Clinton? Clinton was out of there by 2010. 2010 was when they they had the uh, the, the genome project. Mm-hmm. They basically, they said everybody is genetically the same. There's yeah. no, if we, but I mean, we're we're talking about the country is how old by the time that was not the the, the, the thing of the day. But also, people in power need racism, yeah. right? Heather McGee wrote a great book this year called The Sum of Us. It's the best best I've book I read, and, and yeah. where she talks about how racism was used to keep white people down mm. because. When they saw, when, when Big Auto, Auto saw workers organizing, yeah. they began saying, you, yeah. you want the black guy to have the same thing you have? Yeah. You really want to have this union? You really want those those Negroes to have the but same want- benefits and salary you have? Yeah. And they exploited the racism to break up the working class. Yeah. And that's how they used racism to hurt poor white people. And it's a racket that's still going on. Do you think uh, the emergency of, of, of unions is going to happen? I mean, you kind of yeah, It's going to have to. It's going to get worse yeah. before it gets better. And it's not going to get better from the politicians. It's going to yeah. get better from people who are going on strike. It's going to get better from people who are. And I think in a way, and Harry, you would know better than me, but I think we, we're sort of seeing like an unofficial worker strike. People are just quitting sure. yeah. because yeah. they're saying, I'm tired of your shitty wages and benefits. Yeah, I'm not. And work for this jobs. and yeah. it's the closest we're coming to a absolutely worker yeah. that's why that's why all these places are looking for for workers yeah, fast food and places then, don't have restaurants construction plan, it, even construction, though, yeah. it was like 15 dollars then it was 18 dollars they didn't start getting people to come in until but it was see, 21 this is the bernie sanders message and this is how you reach conservative white people if you're a smart democrat too many democrats are bought and paid for too which is why you yeah, can't they, rely on them but that's I think why they're not interested the in average it. american would be fine if the 99 cent menu became a buck oh five menu right. if they knew the person feeding them was able to pay to feed their own kids yeah. because they're right. paying six cents. But more. the reality is, it doesn't have to change in actuality. It's just that they take less money because billionaires in need smaller states. yachts. Right. Billionaires <laughs> have to get smaller yeah. yachts. That's it. But in oh, states, or oh, one the less, min- yeah. or one fewer. Yeah, yeah. In states where the minimum wage goes up, they don't increase the prices because then they'll they lose out. And but because the continue. minimum wage goes up, which means more low-income people have more money, so they're buying more products, more. and the whole economy expands. It's always a racket. It always works the same yeah. way. If you invest in people, people will spend money. Capitalism needs a living wage workforce to buy shit. To work. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But it's always this country was founded by wealthy white men who thought only they should vote. Yeah. And it's been a struggle ever since for any other rights to go to any other group of people. Oh, and we're yeah. still fighting the same fight from the beginning. Absolutely. Um, love you, dude. Um, plug Let's whatever talk about you want to plug, romance please. next time, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, like, Jesus, I, I do a show every night on Sirius XM, uh, Progress Radio 127. I have a podcast called The Sanity Cast, the new web show called Caffeinated, uh, which uh, is me doing all kinds of stuff I'm going to get excommunicated for. And um, nice. yeah, so so, and I'm on Twitter at John Fugelsang, but you've got to be able to spell that, and I'm very sorry. Yes. I'm the whitest guy with the most ethnic name. Spell names, it one time so they you. Uh, F U G E L S A N G. My dad said, "Son, you're going to give your wife something long and hard on your wedding <laughs> night," and I did. My last name. Well, the me. way I look at it, if you can't Google me and you can't find me on Google, then you're too stupid to follow me. Right you're on. not going to enjoy what I do anyway. <laughs> uh, so my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. So similar thing, just Google it. You'll find it at Harry Trajanian. And me, Dante Nero, Google me, you can get my stuff. And don't forget, if you need a consultation, one-on-one consultation, DanteNero.com, click on consult. 
GYBB, I get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love doing this, guys. Thank Dante, you it's so me. nice to see you both. I love yeah, you. Yeah, same. You're same. such gentlemen and you're such evolved, kind, strong guys. Thank and, you, bro. Uh, and I, thank you for. I, that means a lot coming from and, you. And I didn't have to do uh, dinner or bath time with my child to come out here to Brooklyn to see you guys. <laughs> so thank you very much. I, really I think it was worth it. I think I it was worth it. Much, so. yeah. Yeah. I tied to a radiator. He's fine. <laughs> Yo, we love y'all, man. Thank you. Uh, join us over on Patreon. We'll be doing some stuff on our own, man. Appreciate it.